It's nearly that time of year again. It's nearly Fringemas. There is no doubt about it that the fringe is an incredible time of year with a lot going on. However, that stress can start to take its toll. So what we thought we'd do is put together some tips, hints and ideas of how to stay mentally healthy during the fringe. Now, I know this one sounds boring, but it is important. When you're getting ready for the fringe, it can all be really exciting. However, it's easy to take on more than you can manage. So try to be realistic and try to think of when you're gonna have time to eat, sleep, and drink, which brings me nicely onto the next one. Okay, so this one might seem like a bit of an odd one, but I think it's really important to look at what you can do to de-stress when you start to feel a little bit overwhelmed in the fringe. So that could be something as simple as a playlist of music on your phone. It could be a folder of photos to look at. It could be doodling, it could be reading, it could be cooking, it could be anything, just not drinking. If you like the odd tipple every now and then, then fair play, you know, going out, socialising, having a pint with mates is absolutely fine. However, when every now and then becomes morning, noon and night, that's definitely not going to be helpful for your mental health. So think about having a couple of booze nights or just regulating it, maybe pulling back every now and then if you are feeling a little bit stressed. And it's not only drinking either. Of course try the odd like deep fried Mars bar and the odd kebab is always funny on the night home. I'm not going to tell you what to eat. However, if you continue to only eat rubbish, there is a good chance that you will feel rubbish. One of the amazing things about the festival is having so many incredible people all in one place. And let's face it, like on the circuit you don't really get to see that many people that often. So it's great to go out and socialise with friends. But what I like to do when I'm in Edinburgh is like set aside a bit of time to talk about non-fringe related things. So try and meet up with mates for a coffee or a pint, but don't talk about buckets, audience numbers, reviews. Actually have time to talk about the silly stuff of like what movies are coming out, what your favourite biscuits are, where you're going on holiday, whatever it is. And if you can do that, that also helps with... Right, this one's an odd one because a lot of people think that you should fake it till you make it and pretending to be happy is not the same as being happy. It's okay not to be okay. So if you are feeling a little bit down, tell someone you trust. And I understand that that's hard. I think this whole idea of just talk is difficult because you might know what, not know what to say. So if you don't want to tell one of your friends, then you can always give the Samaritans a call as well. Their number is right down here. And don't forget, you don't have to be absolutely suicidal in order to give them a call. You don't have to be unfit to go to the gym. You don't have to be at the end of your tether in order to reach out and talk to these guys. I know there is a lot of pressure in order to do well, to get good reviews, to get acts in, but let's face it, at the end of the day, it's not life and death. Perspective can really help because let's face it, you're at the world's biggest arts festival. Try and enjoy it a little bit. Every year there's loads of events at Fringe Central to help with people's well-being. So that's everything from guided meditation, yoga, a drop-in cafe, as well as just a nice reading area. If you want to find out more, go to the website and it's a great place with loads of resources. Is this stress class? Oh yeah, come on. If you want any more help, you can go to any of these websites. They give you help, information and support if you are feeling a little bit vulnerable at the fringe. But like I say, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a great time. I hope you enjoy the video. Goodbye!